Thank you all for coming. Marta, please sit down. Sit down. Father, why is she here? I thought this was supposed to be a family-only meeting. Marta stays. That's my decision as her employer, and that's final. What is this disgusting concoction you've made? <coughs> For goodness sake, Marta! Can't you even make a decent cup of tea? Marta, it's like you're trying to get yourself fired. No, no, please. I cannot lose this job. It's all I have to support my son. Oh, you go, you shut go. up. Do you think we care about your little sob story? That's quite enough. As you know, when my wife Francesca... Second wife. When Francesca passed away, the only item I kept out of a jewelry box was the golden locket, which has been in our family for generations. Oh, that was my favorite too, Grandpa. So when I returned from my walk this afternoon, the necklace had disappeared. <gasps> Everyone who has access to this room is sitting here right now. So the only question is, who took it? Father, you don't seriously believe it was one of us who stole it. Yes. How can you accuse your loyal and loving family members. Besides, it's far more likely it was stolen by someone outside the family. Well, Marta, what do you have to say for yourself? Please. Please, Mr. Regenton, you have to believe me. I swear to you on my life that I did not steal that necklace. Marta, we will get to the bottom of this. Please go and sit down. Sit down. Uh, it's not there. Shh, quiet. Do you get so caught? I can't believe how selfish Grandpa's being, betraying us like this. I can't get caught off like Tara did. She has to go to community college now. Perfect plan. Well, Grandpa, if we must prove it to you, then so be it. Here. That's right, Father. We have nothing to hide. Grandpa, surely she should empty hers as well. It's only fair. See? I knew it. It's always the maid. You can never trust the help. I never stolen anything in my life. I don't know how that got there. Well, why aren't you doing anything? Fire her, call the police, do something! I'm not firing anyone, and I'm not calling the police. I don't understand. Why don't you believe us? She clearly stole the pendant while you were on your walk, and then framed us. Because, darling, I didn't go on my walk today. I had a problem, and I had to go to the hospital. You had your little secret meeting yesterday, but Marta found out about it, and she came and let me know. Wait. What was that? Probably just a stupid old mansion. Those floorboards need replacing. Anyway, I think it's a marvelous idea, sweetheart. After all, it's always the maid who did it. I knew it was a mistake not to sell the pendant right away. <laughs> What's so funny? I don't think you'll get very far with that necklace. Why don't you open it up and see what's inside? Made in China? <laughs> yes, it's a fake. This was Marta's brilliant idea. I ordered a decoy when I told Mr. Ginton about your plan. So, if this one isn't the real one, then where is it? 
right where it belongs, with me. I've seen through all your lies, the three of you. The allowance is going to stop today, and also I'll be cutting you out of my fortune. Grandpa, please, you can't do this. I'm your only grandchild. And I'm your only daughter. You're just going to turn your back on your family? You people turned your back on me a long time ago. Oh no, community college. This is not over, father. We'll be back. I guess it's not always the help. Oh, shut up, Percy. Marta, I would like you to have this. What? But sir, but you said it's been with you. I've had it long enough. It'll be much more useful for you and your family. I know Francesca liked you and I can see why. Francesca would like you to have it as well, I'm sure. Please accept it. I, I don't know what to say. This could allow me to send my son to college, to give him the better love that he deserves. Well, you deserve it and your son. As you can see, money doesn't always buy happiness, but I'm sure it will bring happiness to your family. <laughs> well, I should finish the laundry. No, take the day off. Let's celebrate our win. Linda, did you, did you hear me? Don't worry, Jerry. If I'm satisfied with your performance, I won't report you. A good employee's a good employee, right? <laughs>